35, are you, look at, are you a new pet owner? Are you looking to add a fur baby to the family? They might leave you gifts as well. Mm -hmm. Bringing a new pet home is an adjustment for everybody, especially your new dog or your new cat. So how do you make them feel right at home as quickly as possible? Well, let's check in the Arizona Small Dog Rescue. <laughs> Ernie is there with uh, some good ideas for making your pet feel comfortable in new surroundings. Yeah, we have a few ideas, but also some helpful tips for uh, dog owners, especially those with small dogs, because I'm told that here at the Arizona Small Dog Rescue, they end up taking in a lot of dogs that end up running off. So we want to prevent that from happening. Let me go ahead and bring in Kim. Kim, just first tell us, what do you guys see as far as small dogs and them in the community getting out? Um, we see a lot of dogs getting adopted, but they get lost in the first week. That's because the dog doesn't really know the owner yet. They're not going to come to you if they get loose and back out of their harness and collar. So you need to take a lot of precautions. And speaking of precautions, you said that dogs may also have triggers, especially if they had been rescues and not like surrenders, correct? Yes. Loud noises such as fireworks can trigger a dog. Going on a walk for the first time and seeing another dog coming towards them. Children laughing, screaming, playing can set off a dog. So there's some things you need to remember when you adopt a dog and you want to make sure they don't get lost. One is to keep proper identification on your dog at all times. You need to have a collar with a tag and a microchip that's current with their information. When you do adopt a dog, you want to go straight home. I know you may be tempted to go to the dog park. You may be tempted to go to PetSmart, but you need to go straight home with that dog. The dog doesn't know you yet, so they may run off if they get away from you. So please go straight home with your newly adopted dog. Also, before you take a dog on a walk, practice walk with them in the yard. Get them in the backyard. Get them in your house. Practice walk until they're calm with you. If a dog is jerking or biting their leash, they're not ready to go out that front door. Okay. So make sure that you practice walk with them. It may take a couple of days or a couple of weeks, depending on how fearful they are. Make sure you lock your, day, your gate. Okay. And then always give your dog patience. They are new to your home. Don't expect too much out of them at first. Okay, so it may take a little time for them to get adjusted. Let's go ahead and bring in a dog owner that we have here. First, tell me your name. Nicole. And Nicole, tell me, who do you have here? This is Chevy Tahoe. <laughs> <laughs> like the car. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about Chevy Tahoe, his kind of background, yeah. and how did you come to find him? Sure. So um, I'm fostering him for the rescue until he gets adopted. He was from a hoarding case with 27 chihuahuas. Um, they were left with no human interaction, um, so he didn't do well meeting people, and he's scared of a lot of things. So he's in my foster home getting adapted to people and socialization so he can get adopted. How did you pre prepare yourself to deal with him and kind of like his triggers and his personality? I just let him give him time. He needed time to warm up to me, and I let him like me on his own time, not on my time. And when he was ready to warm up to me, then that was his time, and now he loves me. He's the ultimate lapdog, and he will be somebody's future lapdog forever. He might be yours forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, can I first get your name, and who do you have? I'm Robin. This is Cece. Cece also came from a hoarding type of situation. She's mainly been an outdoor dog and didn't have a lot of human interaction. Um, but she's just a little shy, and then once she warms up, she's a whole bunch of fun, likes to run around the yard. We call her Zoomies, and her little nickname is White Lightning. She runs around very, very fast. Um, and, you know, with, just with fearful dogs, very shy dogs, you kind of have to not make a lot of eye contact, let them come to you when they're ready, um, just tread lightly, quiet, soft speaking, nurturing type of behavior with them until they come to you. And then once, once they do that, it's, it's pretty simple and they're very loving dogs and it's, it's very rewarding to give them good loving homes. All right. Well, thank you. And you said, which dog was it that was sensitive to male voices? Scooby. Scooby? Is it? Scooby's okay. a little scared of men. So Scooby has been with me for about a year in Foster. He kind of has a space bubble around him. He doesn't like it when strangers break into his space. Men make him a little nervous, uh, but he is up for adoption and looking for a home. All right. Well, thank you so much, Cam. And guys, coming up in the next hour, we're going to have some tips on how to protect your dogs in the heat. Yes. Big issue here. So stay with us and make sure you check that out. And I'll